okay let's take a look at the luminous led lights first um, it is called the a21 it consumes much less power and it produces light equivalent to a hundred watt incandescent bulbs so it only consumes 70 watt and it is also dimmable and it generates the light in all the directions the brightness is about 1600 lumens and efficiency is about 94 lumens per watt 17 watts and the total life is about 15,000 hours the color temperature on these lights is about 3000 Kelvin which is little bit on the warmer side <clears throat> and it claims that it lasts 13 years and it would save you $410 and if you go to the um, bookmark you will see at dollar point one one per kilowatt hour once 17 watt luminous LED A21 bulb uses dollar twenty eight of electricity over its fifteen thousand hour life. This requires a thirty one hundred and thirty six point nine five blah 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 blah. It is energy star rated and uh, let's take it out of the box I have actually gone ahead and done it already so you can see the box is a little bit ripped from here so they are inside this plastic packaging you can easily take off the top part and then you can see these three bulbs let's take a look at them so on the bulb itself there is a caution and then the luminous brand PLY 1483T3 and then the LED watts and um, how much current does it consume what is the rated voltage which is 120 volts and 60 hertz frequency and this is the dimmable bulb so it's not too big I would say it is about the size of the incandescent bulb which it replaces so it, you should be able to put them in a fixture where you used your incandescent bulb before so this comes with the standard E27 socket screw in socket so you can screw it in easily and later on we will see how do they perform and how much light do they generate now let's take a look at the socket uh, so if you have uh, a two pin socket huh? no. then my basement then you can you can also install these bulbs but you will need an adapter which looks something like this it has a E27 screw in thread on one side whereas the two pins on the other side so you just simply screw your LED bulb into it and then this part can go into the uh, two pin socket so it increases the length of this bulb a little bit but not too much Okay, now let's take a look at the LED light uh, which is the LED work light compared to the 100 watt equivalent bulb uh, which generates only 1600 lumens of brightness this produces about 3000 lumens of brightness so I would say it is equivalent to two of those bulbs so if you power on two of those bulbs it would consume about 34 watts um, and you would get 3200 lumens whereas this should be somewhat close to that in terms of wattage and then you will get 3000 lumens so since it's a work light the, it is designed to be more rugged 
and that's what it says on the box built for it and you could see from the picture it looks very very rugged and it has a handle that you can turn around it can be used to carry the work light you can use it as a stand to mount the light on different positions and you can put it inside your toolbox it won't damage it it is made to last so let's look at the back of the box it has a, a rugged bumper protection a weather resistant button so I suppose it should be watertight and then this is the rotating stand and the construction is the aluminum okay let's open the box and on this side you can see uh, the picture which depicts it standing and also a 180 degree rotation stand so let's open the box here you can see it it looks like a speaker let's take it out of the wrapper there is a small manual in it and let's take a look at the light itself it feels pretty uh, sturdy it has got some weight to it it is not too light and it doesn't look cheap at all this whole thing looks like it is made out of metal and this front trim might be uh, oh yeah it, it might be a plastic also the lens could be the plastic not the glass so it has a quite a large uh, LED diode in the middle it it is almost the uh, size of a quarter and these are the uh, pads on the corner which are made from the rubber which are pretty tough you cannot squish this rubber so this should be durable okay let's take a look at the back so you can wrap the cord around like this and uh, then the standard uh, labeling on the card let's open the card okay so now let's see um, what it says at the back so it's a 3000 lumens LED light do not look directly into the light I suppose it must be very very bright so it, it could blind you if you look at it for a long time um, keep this unit away from water although it, it the button is weather sealed at the back it still says you shouldn't put this near water and it it is um, certified using CULUS standards so it is UL certified so yeah you can see the handle which you can put all the way down or you can take it up and put it all the way up so you can basically carry it around using this handle it isn't very heavy light I would say the weight is close to maybe one pound or maybe even a little bit less than that the handle has a nice clicky uh, position stops so you can adjust it at any angle and it should be able to stay there without moving the cord is uh, tucked in properly looks like a, a rubber seal around the cord so it should be fine even if you splash a little bit of water on it it shouldn't get inside the unit
here the button is also tactile and clicky so let's see the stand you can put it at any angle if you want or you can put it just flat on a table okay let's try to turn this thing on and see how bright does it get and then we will look at the power consumption of this led using a watt meter so the camera is set to auto brightness so it should automatically turn down the brightness but it looks pretty bright and if i put my hand in front of it i could feel the heat coming off of it and i couldn't look directly into the light it is too bright for my eyes and if i put it on the desk surface you could see the circle made from the light it is pretty bright and it makes the surrounding look darker so it's a more of a directed light uh, as i expected from the construction of the lens so you, you can direct a lot of light into any work area that you are working on and you don't have to uh, worry about the light anymore 